Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Pages Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 253, filtering on lists with Fetch XML. In our last tips, I've looked at the filtering capabilities of lists in Power Pages, including the text, checkbox, dropdown, and radio button types. In this tip, I'm going to look at the custom Fetch XML type. To use the custom filter type, first you need to craft a filter node that you typically see in Fetch XML. You don't need a full Fetch XML query, just a filter node with the condition child elements. Then we need to add a couple of custom attributes to our XML to get it wired up properly. First, add an ADX colon UI name attribute to the filter node. This is used to define the display name for the filter. Next, on each condition element, add a UI name attribute. This will result in a checkbox showing up as part of the filter. If that checkbox is checked, that particular condition will be included. If that checkbox is not checked, that particular condition will be ignored. You can use a type of AND or OR for your root filter. If you choose AND, all selected conditions must be true for a row to be included in the filter. If you choose OR, only a single selected condition needs to be true for a row to be included in the filter. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Pages tip number 253 on filtering on lists with FetchXML useful.